our first words as our first syllable after I did so well in the previous session. That is shocking to me, but, um, you know, oh, he's not here. Says how I'm doing recording. Stupid old man. Oh, you, you know, Minecraft ride, right? I'll be there. Oh. oh, oh, dear me. Right, hello everybody, my name is Cecil, welcome to Minecraft. I've already done that, Cecil. Oh, okay. Did you fluff up your introduction or did you do it perfectly? Oh, bollocks, what did I do that for? What did I do that for? Not matter, Paul, might be interesting, you never know. We know it's not interesting, Cecil. Oh, actually, let's look at the map. Oh! Ain't that peculiar, Cecil? Whoa, what's these green things? Where am I? Uh, let's go to a green thing, Cecil. <laughs> I need to get some tools. We ju we've just drunken a cup of tea. Um, please stop. Start going on about this tea timeline again, please, Paul. Now, Will says, I find it interesting. We're a, a dilemma, a dichotomy. Um, I did want a cup of tea, but Daddy Cecil didn't want a cup of tea. Did you, Daddy Cecil? No. But I insisted. I said, no, I want a cup of tea. And then I started saying, Cecil, just think there's a timeline out there if um, the multiverse is correct and probably not it seems like nonsense 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 to me um don't give me that withered look Cecil and uh, I said well th in theory there's a timeline out there where we where we did get a cup of tea and that's the timeline we're in the timeline out there where we didn't get a cup of tea I wonder what's happening in that timeline Cecil um, the me and you version of me and you are probably just sat maybe two minutes in the future. So it'll be a bit like this, Paul. No, full well, full bloody well what I was talking about. No, actually, I don't know what you're talking about. Can't find this shite. Right, forget it. Get back to the normal world. Let's just go find a polar bear and we can stop this bloody series. I'm sick of it. Right. Well, that seems a bit tedious. Yes, it is a bit tedious. But you're a bit tedious. I'm a bit tedious sometimes. Do you know what the irony is, Cecil? What? Uh, the cup of tea you made me has gone cold. Can you make us another one? I'm not making you anything ever again, Paul. No, that's not fair, is it? Shut up. It is fair. Sassel's nothing but fair right round it. I'll just dig down then. Dig down and get it. Stop it, Paul! <laughs> what if you dug straight into lava lamps? Might do. Might do, Sassel. There may be be. Stuck dead again. How is this getting us a polar bear? Well, it's not, Sassel, but... I know, I can, I just, just green squares on a map, Cecil. I don't know what else makes compelling viewing if that doesn't. Uh, right, never mind, I've changed my mind. You would think there'd be something to see. Can you see a dungeon, Cecil? What's this matter over here? Let's go look at that. We've done the nether, Paul. So Jeremy Cream said he wanted to be here to see the nether. But it's not so tough. It's what he gets for going back to his manor. Yes, but Paul, if we're nice to him, he might give us a million pounds. Is that what he actually said, or are you just making that up? <laughs> but he might, Paul. He could produce radio facts. Get back on the airwaves, Paul. It's been such a long time. Been a long time. No, uh. Coming back home to the middle of now. Coming back home. But I come back to the middle of 
Do you like that? Would you want to put that on the airwaves? Huh? No, full well. Full bloody well what I was talking about. No, actually. I don't know what you're talking about. Can't find this shite. Right, forget it. Get back to the normal world. Let's just go find a polar bear and we can stop this bloody series. I'm sick of it. Nothing happens, Paul. Uh, punch a pigman shouting at me like that. That's rude. It's very rude, Cecil. Well, you know what else is rude, Paul? Um, bosoms. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what I was going to say. I'm a bit to it. A bit, Cecil. How are the wedding preparations coming? It's a sosh. Haha, <laughs> pig face. You'd think the zombie pigman would give you rotten pork. Just rotten flesh, that's all. Uh oh, can't get me. I'm going back to Narnia. Screw you all, hogmen. Back. Back. Let's take it back. <laughs> run, run away from him, says so. Get me in my world. Right. <laughs> right. Um. Um. Uh, I've got something to show you, says so. Push M. Right. Zoom out with your mouse wheel. This is the map of the world. I spent all of Saturday, uh, <laughs> all of Saturday exploring eight thousand kilometers, eight eight kilometers in every direction. So I went south along a train thing I built. Right, let's see if you can notice what I've noticed, Cecil. In my, it took six hours in my journeys around. There's a village there, Paul. Yep, there's one village, Cecil. Right, so we've got deserts. We've got um, woods, woodland zones. A bit marshy, a bit woody, bit of woodland zones. Okay, we've got a bit of greenery, a bit of snow. More woodland. Yeah, uh, that's it. Now, now go north, Cecil. Look, stop zooming in and out. You make everyone travel sick. So that's the middle, that's where, that's your house there, your original. So zoom up, Cecil, through the woodland. There's a village. Yep, keep going through the woodland, Cecil. There's a village. Yep, keep going through the, now the desert, Cecil. Now back to the woodland, Cecil. There's more woodland, Paul. Now there's water. Now there's woodland. Right, and now zoom up. Essentially, Cecil, what I'm slowly getting at, it's either desert or woodland. There's no, there's supposed to be new biomes, but there's nothing. Uh, <coughs> Paul, shut up. Oh, there's a frosty section. Yep. I don't think I got to the end of that. I think I got bored and sad. So should we go back to there and travel to the frosty section? Yes, I'd like that. How did you build all these things, Paul? I cheated, Cecil. I cheated. I told you. I got tired. Paul, you've only done 10, 14 episodes. And they're all about 10 minutes long. That's only 1 hour 40 minutes. Cecil, I keep telling you, every episode is at least an hour's worth of gameplay footage edited down into the tasty morsels of... The, the, Minecraft footed. You're right, Paul. I'm panicking, Cecil. You're talking to me about how I produce my craft. I don't like to pull back the veil and let everybody see me exposed. Nobody in the world wants to see you exposed, Paul. Well, that's not very nice, is it, Cecil? Uh, I'll start up there. That's how I travelled. You know, I can't build a spaceship. There's no... Um... Oh. There's no airships. Not Teddy Ruxpin. 
Make some wood and we'll get up there out of the way because the sun's going down. Downtown. 60 should be enough, I reckon. Oops. Popped a torch down for some reason. I don't know why I've chosen to do it over the biggest precipice in the entire game that I could find. But never mind, Stump Master, Sonny me into it. No one cares about me. Uh... Over there. <coughs> what was that all about? I like to do that once a day, so I'll just let the air out of my tummy. Um, makes me feel like Brian blessed a little bit. I'm glad you're not. Make it be day, Cecil. Time set one. No point in driving around town if you can't see the town you're driving around in, is there? True, 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 but all. Ah, end of the track. Oh, come back. I can't know. Bastard. Well, it's this way anyway, Cecil. Underneath is your house. There's a chunk in the way, Paul. Yeah, I think the world got corrupted or something. Something happened. Just a chunk spawned in the middle of your house. It's well annoying, isn't it? Squid's called Peter. Calls him Peter. I just take some wood. Excuse me, Peter. <laughs> anyway, Cecil, I want Jeremy Cream to produce radio attacks, but he says it's too much to produce it. What do you mean? Well, it costs twenty-two pounds to upload to want to pay for the thing on RadioThacks.com. That lets us have audio. We can't upload audio anymore because it costs too much. I ain't got £22. Got to help pay the gas bill now, Cecil. Well, do both, Paul. If you tell me to get a job again, Cecil, I'm going to come over there and push your toupee to a jaunty angle that you won't like. Because you're not doing jazz. Yes. I will only have a toupee at a jaunty angle if I'm doing... Improv, scooby bit but I will not push it, Paul. Oh, it starts scatting at me, Cecil. Yes, I did. It's too much, Paul. Do a Kickstarter, Cecil, for £22. So that we can host podcasts again, or, or various audio files um, that we wish on the website. No, I will not beg for charity. Beg for charity once, Paul, and remember what happened. Yes, uh, Let's tell the ladies and gentlemen. Mum put a placard round Cecil's neck, paraded him up and down the street, smacking his bottom with a table tennis bat, while Cecil um, declared... Cecil, don't say. I just said, my name is Cecil Fax, and I am worthless. Please do not give me money, for I am not worth it. Oh, I was just trying to get money for a new um, groin to pay a merkin for your wife. I'd accidentally shaved her in her sleep. <laughs> I know you had. It was horrible. Yes. A very itchy woman. No, let's, let's not go over that. Right. Bloody ages. I know. Do it on high speed, Cecil. Go! Look at her hair, though, Paul. I'm a square Jesus. And be crucified if mum ever finds out some of the things you've been saying about her in this uh, video series, Cecil. Especially about the Merkin. Oof. 
Yes. So then she tried to wax. Well, she didn't try. She waxed my anus in my sleep. She woke up feeling the most intense agony in my rectum area. It's payback, Paul. <coughs> Sorry, I was just choking on my own vomit then. Why did... What? You do have some exploits, you win, mother. Is that one of the reasons why you're not allowed to share the same bed anymore? Because she get adventurous in the night when she's asleep. No. Mm, sounds a little dubious, Cecil. I'd uh, I'd prosecute you to the full extent of the law if uh, you did anything like that to me, Cecil. It's borderline rape, is that? It's not, Paul. She said I could. She said she wanted a surprise when she woke up and she winked and then scratched her vagina. <laughs> Don't want to know, Cecil. I took that to be an implication that her pubic hair was just causing too much chaffage and she wanted it removing, so I removed it for her. I did it very expertly. I used to be a barber. A genital groinal barber? No, Paul! No! What are you doing, Cecil? I thought we were going to the snowy land to look for a polar bear. It's the whole point of the serum. Mm -hmm.